Good day everyone. What we gonna do today is we gonna create the terms and condition. Okay, terms and condition they gonna put it uh, in the paper when you run the business document to the customer, supplier, or, or the business partner. Okay, and then the next part we gonna do the payment term. Payment term is mean the agreement between you and your business partner that sometimes you don't want to pay 100% immediately. You know you can say something like right? you pay 50% now and then in the next 30 days you pay another 50%. Okay, so let's enjoy the video. Hi, let's uh, continue the topic on the EIP next. Okay, so last two topic uh, in the in the number six and number seven of the series, what we do is we put the uh, information for the for the uh, for for the master data already. Okay, that is the customer supplier. Okay, and then item, and then we go to bank account. So today we gonna do the uh, two things that we haven't do. That is the terms and condition and payment term. Okay, actually we gonna do terms and condition first. Okay, so let's go to see. Okay, the the one that we support to do. Uh, in order to do this one, you support to download the file. So please uh, come to the comment and then uh, go to the description of this video, read it, and then download the file first. Okay, but I think if you do the uh, item. Already, that should not be the problem. Okay, so you support to have this text file. Okay? This text file they're gonna have term uh, and condition. They have the example. However, please note that this term and condition is just an example. You cannot use it in your business. So if you really want to use it in your business, please contact the lawyer or the one who write the business paper uh, properly. Okay? So this one is just an example. Okay. So we going to our topic. Okay? So at this moment, you should have the. Uh, information in uh, I mean I mean the server running okay, and then you log into the ERP next already so we go to term and condition okay, terms and condition okay. so at first I gonna make term and condition okay, like, like this one so I go to the tag and then just simply put it inside okay. so first I gonna do the quotation term and condition at this moment you can put any name okay. so for example you may use the uh, term and condition for the particular uh, for the particular uh, uh, customer, if you want to, uh -huh. okay. Oh, it's mean maybe I miss it. Uh -huh. Okay, so don't worry. I just put it again. This one is the core, uh -huh. core, terms, uh -huh. like this one. Uh -huh. Okay, so I just put the example. I uh, have the quotation term, uh, something like this, and then I just click. Uh, you can even do the decoration if you want to. Okay. So I just saved. Okay, so next one, what we do we have? We're going to have the uh, payment term, uh, something like this. You're going to see that the number is running because I use the word processing uh, pro software to do it. Uh, so please make sure that you correct it because this is just some typo mistake. Uh, okay, so I said payment terms, uh, like this one. And then I just put on up this one here, payment terms. Here we are, and then you can do the, some decoration, and then don't forget to change number. Uh, oh, it says it's gonna be just some typo mistake. Okay, and then that's it. Uh, so the next one is gonna be the uh, invoice term, uh, like this one. So please know that this is just an example. Okay, so I put the invoice term, the invoice terms, okay, so you can have different terms for both supplier and customer side because I believe that when you uh, run, run the uh, okay, when you when you run the business, maybe it is a uh, different term. You can even have a uh, term and condition for the uh, customer and supplier separately. Okay, so we have on, on this one, we refresh, we're going to see terms and condition. Okay, so that's it for uh, terms and condition. Uh, so they're gonna, we're going to use it when we do the business document. Next one is the 
payment term นะครับ what is the payment you know sometimes when you run the business we cannot do everything on cash นะครับ so for example when you buy from the supplier you need to negotiate that uh, I I gonna pay maybe 30 days later นะฮะ sixty day later or when the customer buy from you maybe they ask you to do นะฮะ so I gonna give you such situation that uh, the payment term for for the customer is that they gonna pay 50% immediately right away and then they gonna pay another 50% Uh, in the next 30 days right? okay so I go to the ERP next and then I said payment term right? payment term okay when we set the payment term right? they're gonna have the list of the term this one is the line by line so we need to do for each line right? so I kind of said something like the term name I said 50 right? 50 this one comes from 50% right? the 50, I said immediately Something like this. So the portion of the invoice is 50 and then click the exit date. So pay half. Uh -huh. uh, pay half. Immediately. Yeah. Okay, something like this. And then just set. Okay, so we have one, one line. So we're gonna ask them to pay. Another, I said 50 and then 30 day. Right? So when I said 50, the first 50, this one is, is my own coding style. Right? So you can use any anything you want. Right? So I said 50% and then in the next 30 day, right? I said 30 day credit. Right? 30 day credit period. Right? And then I just said. Okay, and then uh, just that. Right? So when when you set refresh, you uh, you're gonna have the the term. Right? So this one is in each the line of term. Right? So you can have another example of the term like uh, 40, 40, 40, 40, 20, something like this, or 50, 50, or you can even do the 25 in 30 days uh, or 60 days. Right? But I, I just have only two of them. Right? Okay, so next after you have the payment. Uh, already uh, so we have the payment term uh, and then we have the, the payment term uh, report already you can click inside uh, and then you're gonna see on uh, on of them uh, you can have the comment uh, if you want to for example you can say the comment that this one is for uh, for for some some uh, cust uh, customer only uh, next one is we call template uh, the payment นะฮะเทมเพลทนะฮะเทมเทมเพลทนะฮะเพเมนต์โอเคเพเมนต์เทอร์มเทมเพลทนะ okay. so payment term template is mean the template that we gonna give to particular customer so i gonna do นะครับ the payment term template for something like 50 50 นะครับ 50 50 นะครับ i mean 0 to 30 day zero and thirty day period uh, something like this so we agree uh, with the customer that when I deliver the product to you you pay 50% immediately and then another 50% is 30 day later and then you add up uh, something like this the, the payment term is the term that you do moment ago so you pay half immediately first and then you pay another half in the next 30 days so you see the credit is 30 days and then the invoice portion is 50 50 and then you just save okay and that's it so you're gonna have the payment term uh, template so we're gonna use this template in our example and then you can apply this knowledge to uh, the other stuff so at this moment we are uh, finished the master data at this moment we can uh, doing the transaction and in selling and buying